It is our honor to present the NFF gold medal to Mark Harmon. glasses the last time I was here. <laughs> On a personal thought, uh, I would like to acknowledge Hall of Fame head coach Terry Donahue. He's in my thoughts right now. He's the reason I'm here right now. <clears throat> my appreciation of him is only with great respect. And I love you, man. Good evening. Everyone, John Wayne was the gold medal recipient in 1973 when I last attended this event. John Wayne, the former Marion Morrison, the Duke, Sergeant Stryker in Sands of Iwo Jima. I mean, we were excited to get an opportunity to meet him and hopefully get an autograph. Again, this is before computers, this is before cell phones. At the time, I had thought that a suit was proper attire for this event. And then when I got here, I found out, obviously, it's not. There was a tuxedo shop across the street. And again, this was 1973, so when I saw the light gray tuxedo <laughs> in the window with the frilly shirt and the puffy sleeves, Man, that was me. <laughs> All night long, John Wayne never stopped calling me rebel. <laughs> and along with being at that event with my father, it's the one experience I remember the most being here. At least this time I got the tux right. I was the baby in the family with two older sisters. Our mom and dad, Elise and Tom, were married almost 50 years. Dad was a broadcaster and a producer, and he worked hard. He did the local news two shows a day, seven days a week. He uh, also did his national radio show broadcast. Mom worked hard, too raising a growing family with the family needs. In that family, values mattered. Kindness mattered. Taking responsibility mattered. No one was more important than anyone else. You work hard at everything you do. There was no failure as long as you tried your best. I was that kid always outside always with a ball, any ball, always looking for someone to play catch with, anyone to play catch with, kind of like a golden retriever. <laughs> I was never the strongest, I was never the tallest, the fastest, or the smartest in anything I tried to do. I loved to compete. I loved sports, always loved sports, any sport. I had big dreams but that's really all they were. Sometimes people doubting you or telling you that you can't do something becomes incentive to prove them wrong. The fire burns a little hotter. Remove quitting as an option. I had a, a quote that hung in my room from Biggie Munn. It said, the difference between good and great is just a little extra effort. My passion was working toward goals. Most were really pie-in-the-sky things that I really had no business considering or thinking about. I didn't know that at the time, and that was an advantage. Repetition, lots of repetition. I paid specific attention to the little things, those small parts of anything that some people with more talent 
either ignored or took for granted. Hey, guess what? There are no little things. Most in this room know that you learn something on the field of play that you don't learn anywhere else. All those lessons, good and bad, win or lose, remain etched in everything that I do today. There are many to thank to stand up here by myself and represent this honor alone is really misplaced. I do nothing alone. No one does anything alone. Nothing is more important than the team. I've played with a lot of teams and a lot of teammates. Some of them are here tonight. Your support, your trust, your love, they mean the world. All of you have also had to deal with me, so you should be the one up here getting the gold medal. <laughs> All of you know who you are. I still carry so much of the imprint from those year early years with me in everything that I do. The work ethic, all those little things. You make your bed, you take out the trash, you wash the car every Sunday. I still do that. Though as I say that, I can feel my wife smiling right now about the make your bed part. <laughs> I am proud to somehow have recognized just how inordinate you were the first time we met, PD. I remain so completely proud of you as a woman, as a mother, as a partner, as a friend. I'm appreciative of this honor and for the opportunity to return here so many years after having been first inducted. It brings back a special time with my dad. I've never stood alone in anything I do, and I'm not standing alone now. Make every day your masterpiece. That's from John Wooden. He was a team guy all the way. The coach, a Bruin, a mentor, and a friend. And that's awfully good advice. Thank you and good night. Light gray, correct? Mark, not, 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 not powder, but light gray. The, the suit, light gray. Oh, yeah. Okay, just want to make sure. Jack, light gray. All right, good. How about that? Mark Harmon, huh? One more time. That's just phenomenal.